quick break. We had to get some water, but I want to step back in. And, and the thing that I that I that I want to talk to John about is he's had the fortune of living many different lives within this business. Most importantly, um, I'd like to know where you were two years ago mentally, right? Um, you know, we've established this 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 beautiful process, beautiful state about a year ago with Sean and, and the other folks on the mastery movement. So I'd like for you to talk about where you are now and then what your hope is going forward based on these scientific principles, including what you learned at Tony, uh, Tony Robbins this weekend. Okay, well, two years ago, uh, you know, things were great. I had my own business. I had a business partner. Um, the main bulk of our business, we were asset gatherers. Uh, we had tremendous relationships with our client. We still have clients. We still do. Uh, and we do with Rob now. Um, but we weren't going out and getting business. And we weren't branched out into comprehensive, full financial planning the way we want it to be. Um, and one of the reasons for that was, you know, you get in that comfortable seat. We had a great method of getting referrals from our clients, or we had associations with some banks and some other people. So clients were coming to us. Um, but it wasn't fulfilling. And when I made the change, one of the first things we started doing was with Sean Callagy, we were able to go to the practice mastery events that Sean threw. And myself, Rob, and Brian, we met there. Yeah. Um, we were just jumping around wildly. They, they, they weren't weird. Yeah, exactly. We, we had no idea what we were positively stepping into. But Brian was about six months ahead of us. At that I, I will say, though, as soon as we went to that first one, we knew it was something special, right? Yeah. Yes. And we knew that the value there, aside from we met a lot of people, a lot of doctors, um, made a lot of appointments, but that's not even why we were there. And that's not even why Sean throws these events. Mm -hmm. These events are tremendous for the amount of knowledge Sean gives for free to people. When you sit down and you start hearing what he's talking about, it's actually transformational. Yes. It's amazing the amount of information he can give you and get to in that pretty much small amount of, you know, small amount of time. I mean, you were just at Tony Robbins for how many hours? Uh, 40, 42 hours, 42 which hours. again is awesome. Four days. Yeah, it's awesome, it's a tremendous amount of information, but Sean can distill a lot of that information and be so powerful in a two hour event that you just wanna you wanna run through a wall Sean when was he's there. done. Like, Sean was there. <laughs> but Sean was there for sixty four hours. I know. I, well listen at the same event that we were at. But Sean will tell you, Tony will tell you, everybody will tell you, you're you're always a student of the game. Yes. You're never done learning. Um, Tony's right hand man, Joe. Yes, what, Joe McCullough Jr. Yeah. He's there, Joseph. he goes to every Joseph, he goes to every event and he says he takes a, a ton of notes. And the other uh, gentleman the Australian gentleman, he said he had 20 pages of notes. Yes. And the guy said, don't you know this stuff? He's like, you never stop learning. Yeah. You never that stop hearing true. something of value that is just so important. And later on, it just hits you and you say, that's it. So what's your hope going forward based on the stuff that we've developed over the last 12 months? Where, where do you see the outcome? My hope going forward is through my own self-mastery, I'm able to continue to work on this. Because you can go to Tony Robbins all you want. You can go to Sean Callie's event all you want. Unless you take it home, look it over, and then start practicing it every day, yes. you'll go nowhere. Not that you'll go nowhere, yes. but you're not going to get the maximum out of what you just learned. So, so that's a great point that John just said because Brian is not in our industry, although we're part of the same mastery movement team. Brian is a shining example of not only self mastery but process mastery. That both John and I, when I look at Brian, I'm like, all right, how do I model after that? Because I want to be able to model his process and his self mastery, but and have that come on our side. And all of this starts with love first, connection, love, significance is, is last in that pecking order. And it's really about truly helping people with no agenda. One of the things that Sean had myself, John and Holla do, which I thought was amazing when we went to Jersey City and we met uh, not only the leader of the Indian community, the leader of the Muslim community, thank you for Bill O'Day, Bill O'Day who set that up, but also a warden of a correctional facility. And the point there was we have no intention except to give free content. We're going to meet with the 500 person staff and we're also going to meet and do events or maybe not events, but educational, let's call it learning strategies for the prisoners. And there's nothing more rewarding than that. And that doesn't happen without the push of Sean, Sean Callagy really being the shining example of that. Yeah, um, this, Brian, is something, well, this is something that Sean has showed us because Right, because Sean is setting up these events, and he's not charging a single dollar. No, he's. This is something that he's bringing people on board, and he's he's saying, "Look, you guys are here. You're part of this. Why don't you bring five to ten people?" And nobody's getting charged. Right. Yeah. This is something that we all learn. It's amazing. So it's free content. 
They're all learning and it's we're all part of it together. And but isn't it safe to say that Shaul wants these five people that we bring to be the same kind of dynamic agents of change and to create their own pods? That Absolutely. He wants us to create that. that like an extension. You know, yes. So it's like, then I'll create another four or five people, like a secondary yeah. line yes. team or yeah. yourself yes. and so on. So with that, I want to wish everybody a happy Monday. John, do you have any closing thoughts? No, I wish everybody a happy Monday and just say, you know, every day when you get up, think about how you can contribute, um, what you can do for somebody else, because when you contribute and put that out there, things come back in its face. Absolutely. Happy Monday. Happy, happy Monday, Monday, everybody. everybody. Thank you. Yep.